Hi, thank you for joining us today. Um, by now you should have already picked up your cheesecloth ghost kit that we've provided. Um, but if you weren't one of the hundred um, that received one of the kits, you, I'll show you the items and then you'll be able to um, purchase it or maybe you have some stuff hanging around the house. Um, so this is what um, we are going to make today. A little cheesecloth ghost. Um, you could stand it up on a table or hang it up, um, whatever you choose to do with it. Um, so get your little baggie out and we'll pull out the items. We have, you should have a cheesecloth and um, the eyes and mouth if you choose to use those. And I've already blown up the little beach ball that you have also got. <clears throat> so using some items that you already have at home, we're gonna start. So just so that it helps um, with the mess, you could use a paper bag, a piece of cardboard, anything like that. Um, and then I've pre-cut some pieces of parchment paper. So you could lay this on the countertop, but just kind of to cover your area because once the cheesecloth is drenched in glue, then it'll be quite messy. So we'll lay this like so. And just make sure you cover the surface that um, big enough for your your ghost to be able to lay across. Today I'm using a, a cup, just a regular old um, cup. You could use a two liter bottle, um, a milk jug, anything. What I would recommend though, one, um, one thing that I found out is the top of the, the item that you're gonna use should be narrower than the ball. Um, because if the neck is wider, then it's gonna be hard for the ball to come out of that ghost. Um, so as long as it's narrower, then the, the fabric will kind of drape down and then you'll have plenty of room. And, and you could also raise this if you want. So if you want like a taller ghost, um, I took just like a roll of tape and then that kind of makes a, it to be taller and then you could gather it on the bottom. Um, so you'll want to take your glue and just kind of pour maybe about three fourths in there. And then just a little bit of water. Um, I would say not equal parts, just to make it just slightly liquidy, probably about two tablespoons I think would be enough. And then you could just use a whisk from your house or a chopsticks, wooden chopsticks or um, your fingers, whatever you wanna use, but um, just make sure that it's all mixed up. And you could kind of gauge, the thicker you have your glue, then the, the stiffer that um, your ghost will be. Um, but you don't want it too thick because then it'll take a little bit longer to dry. So it um, takes probably about 10 minutes to make and then you'll wanna have it dry um, probably about 24 hours would be good. Set that aside. And then you'll just take your cloth. It's easier if you open it all the way up so it kind of soaks into everything. Then you just kind of like soak up all that. And this is washable glue, so you don't have to worry about your dishes um, being ruined, anything like that. To help with the mess, I just kind of draped a piece of saran wrap over this. And that'll kind of help with the mess and the glue sticking to your cups or your dishes. So just one one way and then the other one the other way. And if it feels that you, you wanna make sure that all areas of the cloth are really moist. So if you feel like it might not have gotten enough, then um, you definitely have a whole bottle of glue to work with. And then you just drape it in the middle and then you go to the edges and kind of pull because it's gonna be sticking to each other. So you wanna pull it down so that you have the gathering on the base if you want it, if you want your ghost to stand up. So it'll look something like this. Um, you could use like foil, you could take foil and crinkle it up and then um, before you put the cloth on, you could use it to make your arms so that your if your ghost wanted arms or a wire hanger, um, anything around the house that you could use to prop your, 
your ghost up like that if you wanted arms. Otherwise, you could just let it kind of fall in place. So then with the little um, felt pieces that we provided, there's two eyes. So the backing is adhesive. You just want to open them up. And then you could add some more glue on it, but I think it'll be fine just like that. And then for the bigger piece of felt, you could cut out a mouth um, and do it however you, however you want to shape the mouth. You could do it a full circle um, or you could cut it like as if it were speaking. Um, but that's it. Um, you just want to let this air dry uh, for probably about 24 to 48 hours. Um, and then what I also did was sprayed it with um, hairspray and that helped stiffen it up. So um, then you have this. Have fun!